costume for you? A little bit. We've tried to put on a bit of costume for the plan. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit period, sort of, yeah. what we could find. Yeah. I got a dish. We've tried wiping off oil stains oh, from the toilet. Oh, yeah. oh, great. Oh, and there's none left in it. Oh. <laughs> What was it like flying around? The big news we want, you know, how much melted snow is it on the on the far side? Because that determines how warm it is. We got actually the amount of snow. Yeah, there's a fair amount of snow. Oh, that's not good. We got. Oh, there's going to be cold seven We probably melted the last little bit of snow off the top. Oh, that's not good. We got cold seven inches. Oh, that's not good. We got cold seven inches. We probably melted the little bit of snow off the top. Oh, that's not good. We got cold seven inches. Oh, that's not good. We got cold seven inches. Oh, that's not good. We got cold seven inches. Oh, that's not good. We got Ashburton to, uh, well, Christchurch Ashburton to yeah. a piece of welcome. I'd just like to welcome the crew for, for coming in for the uh, 96 hours that they've been flying and they've been repeating a track, of course, that was uh, taken over by Gene Batten. So this is a great day for these people here, uh, from the oil stains through to the 96 hours through sitting on that big angle. And uh, it's a great day for Teano and for Southend that um, we are the centre of hospitality. So we're going to give them a big welcome, so I'd just like um, five or six Southenders to come out now and officially welcome these guys. Just, I'll just grab anybody who's here that's a nice friendly Southender, come up and give these guys a hug. Here we go, these two over here. Would you like to come on behalf of Southend, come and give, us, give these guys a hug, come on, a bit of support too. Who else is a keen Southender here? There we go, there it is, that's a lot more Did you get some oil stain or not? No, try again. Give them a, give them a harder hug there. You're doing well. That's good. Look, I'm pleased to be here on behalf of Fran Cardno, who unfortunately she would have loved to have been here. I'm really feeling for her, but she's ill at the moment, so but she's, our thoughts go with her. But uh, hey, it's great to have you here. I think it's also, looking around the faces here today, this is a great day for women too, isn't it? I mean, Jean Batten proved that women can do everything, so I think we should give it up to the women here today as well. shouldn't lose uh, recognition for Rosie the Riveter, in fact, because without the women putting these airplanes together, they wouldn't be here. So <laughs> Rosie the Riveter needs a big cheer as well. There it is. It's always been a teamwork. Yeah. Can you them on, on the DC3R flares about parts? Yeah. <laughs> There's a phenomenal Lots. quantity of rivets on them there. Just the screws holding the wings on, there's a 397 or 365 on each side. Yeah, there's 79. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. differing opinions on that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would take 79 because I've been with myself in Paris. Yeah. 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 I, I helped you with those. I helped you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's teamwork here, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of the South and District Council. Alistair. Yeah. We, we retraced Gene Patton's trip fairly faithfully. Um, slightly later than planned, I'd hoped to be on the 75th anniversary, and in fact it's the 76th more or less, but... And here I come to town now, and you're all here. It's really special. I don't think Tiano even existed. I don't think Tiano hardly existed back in 1936, so Gene Batten probably didn't know it was here, but that's kind of really special. To come all the way uh, back to New Zealand, go through Auckland, and, you know, we landed and it was one of the great pilots of course was having the DC-3 there were six of them there we looked out the window and there it was the two DC-3s going over Auckland that was superb but that was it and we come to Tiana and all these people here that's very moving superb welcome I George mentioned that something would be happening mentioned the old rovers and we can wind them up and, but really had no idea and we had this wonderful old uh, Percival Proctor I'm not sure who flew it somebody there, yeah, that might be out there. That's really wonderful. That's about as close as you can get to the the plane that Gene Batten uh, flew. Um, I think this is the version that came out after the war, but more or less the same as the Percival Gull that she flew, and which is hanging up in uh, Auckland International Terminal, which we had a look at. Um, it was a big challenge to get this plane here. Um, we have to thank. On the one side, the people that got it ready, Paul Baisley and Aeromethyl, this is an American firm run by an Englishman, Paul, and they did absolute wonders to get it ready in time. And we have to thank all the people who were involved in flying it, Paul and, and Chris and uh, Phil, who's gone back to France, and then Jeff for the last uh, couple of legs, and our hostess, uh, Kathleen. It was, like I say, a big challenge, 
But the challenge, in fact, with peanuts compared with now the challenge to find the right future for this aeroplane, I would love for the plane to be able to stay here in Tianao, and I would love for the plane to be able to keep flying. And those, from what I hear from everybody saying and from what I've been paying out already, those are massive challenges, and I hope that we're going to nut out some way of being able to do that, that's, like I say, a huge challenge. So, once again, a big, big thank you to you all for coming and sharing in this adventure, the, the closing part of this huge trip. And I hope you will, one way or another, get to see a lot more of the, the Gene Batten Clipper. Thank you. It really proved that you can do anything if you set your mind to it. And perhaps that's the theme that's coming off, and that's the spirit that's coming off this plane here today. So let's take that spirit and that energy and make it happen, and make sure that this plane stays here in the South and is used and enjoyed by lots of people. So with the spirit and the energy that you guys have put into this trip, let's take that on forward and make Tiano going to be the centre for this in the future. So thank you very much, everyone. And to indicate, and just to, to celebrate the fact that your journey here, we have a little gift. For you. So Jenny from the Southern District office here would like to hand those out for you while we give you all another round of applause. Well done. And just while that's happening it can be a bit of a quiet moment sometimes. Thank you very much. So. Big thank you to everybody who organised this arrival. I think there's George involved and Evan here and council yes. from locally, all of you yeah. have been involved in just putting this superb welcome together. It's just one of the top moments of the whole trip. Really oh, nice. Thank you so much. Good on you, Mark. Round of applause for the council and for the, the people, the airport management here. So let's all mix, mingle, hear the stories, share the stories, you right? Yeah, that will be fantastic. So grab your opportunity. And, uh, There's also the top uh, possibility to wander around and have a look at the plane. Uh, that's okay, is it, Evan? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. If you're wearing white shirts, you'd be more. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for the oil. No, no visa needed, no security needed. No. <laughs> oh, we've gone through maybe 20, 20 times in the last uh, three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Take that opportunity. So, everyone, let's mix, mingle, congratulate each other, catch up with some of the stories, and we'll have some afternoon tea. Well done, cheers. <laughs>
I want to get one of you in the pilot seat. In the pilot seat? Ah, bah, s'ils demandent des, des choses, oui, c'est oui. la télé, bah, si tu peux, mais je ne sais pas ce que tu peux donner. Ils me demandent des choses, oui, c'est la télé, mais si tu